Okay, friends, so you're here in the east of the Mississippi and you want to travel out west to hunt some big game in the western states, Colorado, Montana, whatever. And you want to do some backcountry hunting. You've got this idea, you see these videos, you're going to take your backpack and you're going to drive out there all by yourself and just take off into the mountains and stay for days and nights at a time. Um, it's a big adventure, guys. It can also be overwhelming, I understand. I started in this a few years ago. I've been out there um, several times. Went out my first time with a group. The next two times, I was completely by myself. It's all solo, you know, DIY, do it yourself, over the counter, public grounds. And, and I just dove in it, man. And, and I had prepared, luckily, because I had some very close calls and, and some experiences. Everything from um, extremely cold, uh, bear encounters, you know, getting turned around. Uh, just that, that, that whole experience of being out there by yourself, I know it can be intimidating, a little overwhelming, especially for guys like us that's here in the East. Guys, I'm a carpenter, locksmith, just like you, I'm just a regular guy, I work too much, I work overtime, but I try to save my, my time, my vacation time, my money, and, and I, I typically will hunt these whitetails. And I love it right here in East Tennessee, uh, turkeys and all that, but you know, it's kind of got to the point in my life where I wanted to go out West and, uh, Try my, my skills at, at some big game out there. And it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. So if you guys are considering this, you're just getting started, you don't really know where to start, not sure if you even want to go, you probably do want to go. <laughs> it is so much fun. It, it's, it's a great, great time. Um, it can be overwhelming, I know, but hey, what my video series from starting today, and I'm gonna try to do one of these every one to two weeks, and uh, that gives me time to set up for the next session and then it'll give you time to maybe absorb what we had talked about and, and shoot me some comments. Maybe we'll have a little discussion. Guys, I just want to help. Hey, I'm not a pro. I'm not going to tell you how to kill an elk. I'm here to just help you get through these first stages of where do I start? How much things do I need? What about my vehicle? What I will go in the vehicle? Uh, I went 5,200 miles round trip on my last trip and pretty close to that on the trip prior to that. So yeah, hey, two or 3,000 miles one way and plus the driving around, it is a big deal. So um, things to talk about, everything from getting prepared physically for, for that altitude and that much climbing um, to the backpacks, like I said, about the vehicle itself, or maybe you want to fly. We'll talk about that. That's a big discussion, drive or fly. There's pros and cons. I'll be driving most of the time, but we'll, we'll go into detail on that, guys. Everything from game bags to, you know, weapons and boots is always a big subject, backpacks, layering, what type of camo and materials and all this stuff. We always take too many clothes. Um, you just don't need that much stuff. You don't have to spend astronomical amounts of money. The licenses are expensive. More than likely, guys, you'll be spending you know, but let's just say it's a round figure, a thousand bucks for a non-resident to really have like a combo tag anywhere. It's going to cost a little bit of money. Um, it's going to take some time. You're going to need a couple of weeks off work, so you have to save your vacation. But if you're prepared for these things and you save that money like I do, hey, I'm just a working guy, you know, um, we just do the best we can. But I want to help you along through this, guys, as we, as we start this journey. It's February 2021. A lot of these states, you have to apply for your licenses here in the spring. Uh, March is a deadline in some states to even apply for a license, or you will not have one for the fall when it arrives. So now's the time to get started, guys. We have to get in shape. We have to get our licenses bought. We get a few gear bought up, and we do some little practice trips in the what we'll call backcountry here at home as far as we can go and, and test these gear out, these little cook kits and sleep systems and uh, backpacks, uh, water filter systems, game bags. There's a lot of things to talk about. So I'm gonna break this down and have shorter videos, like I said, and give us a time lapse between one to the other for you to think about this session and, and maybe um, overcome a few questions there and then we'll move on. So uh, guys, I just like to help you. I know it's uh, sometimes it's a big deal. Uh, it's overwhelming, but we're gonna make it fun. We'll make it casual. It's not that bad. But the, my, my last message here before I go, uh, and this is a big deal to me. This may just be me personally. I don't know, man. My dad, he, he raised me this way. Uh, always have respect and think for yourself. 
Um, my dad, he's just an outstanding guy, but I'm glad of that because when I went out west as an out-of-stater to these uh, public grounds out there, some people, you know how it is if someone comes in on your hunting area, you, you kind of want to think this is my area and, and there's like a little tension, a little battle right there. It can get ugly and get out of hand if, if you go out there with a chip on your shoulder. So my advice here is trade that chip in on, on your shoulder for a smile on your face. Guys, go out there with respect. Follow the rules. Close the gates. Stay on the trails. Do your part. Hey, we're all known here in the southeast and the east for our hospitality and being nice. So be nice. We're all on the same team. They can come out here and hunt these public grounds. They're just as much theirs as they are ours. And those public grounds are ours as much as they are theirs. The states manage these amount of tags. It doesn't matter if I, if I put this video out and 10,000 people try to go to one state. You're not going to because that state only gives out so many licenses. So you just have to wait till next year or go to a different area. You know, we're not going to overpopulate with hunters out there in a specific area just because everybody decides to go. Uh, but if you do get lucky, you get your tag, you go, go with some kindness, go with some respect, and uh, you will get that in return. I've made friends out there. They have helped me, and they're still helping me. It's been a great, great experience. You don't want to go out there and have a bad experience. You want to go out there and have a great experience. So keep that in mind, guys. I'll, I'll shut up. For now, we'll keep these videos somewhat short. I know you have things to do, but you know how YouTube works. If you don't click subscribe and hit the little uh, bell, this video and these series will be hard for you to find. It gets lost. So if you want to keep up with me on this every week or two, um, we'll go over each one of these little step-by-step -step process. And uh, hey, when fall rolls around, we'll be ready. I just want to help you out, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Maybe we'll talk about the, the truck next time. See ya.